Hey, good morning and Merry Christmas from Pastor Justin and Casey. I hope that your morning is starting off, your day is starting off great, and that you are surrounded with your family, with your friends, and that your morning has just started off with a bang. Hopefully your kids didn't wake you up too early in the morning, like four in the morning, because they're so excited about the presents. But if they did, I hope you have a lot of coffee and that you still have a good, good attitude and demeanor this morning. Today, as we just share a few moments, I wanna read the Christmas story and then just present something to do as a family today that I hope becomes maybe a tradition for you and your family. And the Christmas story is found in Luke chapter two, and it says this. At that time, the Roman Emperor Augustus decreed that a census should be taken throughout the Roman Empire. This was the first census that was taken when Quirinus was governor of Syria. All returned to their ancestral towns to register for this census. And because Joseph was a descendant of King David, he had to go to Bethlehem in Judea, David's ancient home. He traveled there from the village of Nazareth in Galilee. He took with him Mary to whom he was engaged who was now expecting a child. And while they were there, the time came for her baby to be born and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him snuggling, snugly in strips of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no lodging available for them. That night there were shepherds staying in the fields nearby, guarding their flocks of sheep. Suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared among them and the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terrified, but the angels reassured them, do not be afraid, he said. I bring you good news that will be great joy for all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David, and you will recognize him by this sign. You will find a baby wrapped snugly in strips of cloth lying in a manger. Suddenly the angel was joined by a vast host of others, the armies of heaven praising God and saying glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth to those whom God is pleased. When the angels had returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. And so they hurried to the village and found Mary and Joseph and there was the baby lying in the manger. After seeing him, the shepherds told everyone what had happened and what the angel had said to them about this child. All who heard the shepherd's story were astonished, but Mary kept all these things in her heart and thought about them often. The shepherds went back to their flocks, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, and it was just as the angel had told them. This morning, as you are gathered around with your family, um, you have open presents, you're gathered by the tree. I wanna just encourage you to do one activity as a family, and that is this. I, I had some friends, uh, family friends very close to us, and they would go around each family member talking about who out of the Christmas story that they, do they relate to. Um, some of them, it was the shepherds, that they were just like, man, they were astonished at all that had happened and all that God had done and that God would show up to somebody like them and all the good things that had happened. Some of them, they felt like the innkeeper and sometimes the innkeeper gets a bad rap, right? You've heard songs and you've seen Christmas pageants about how mean the innkeeper was, but the innkeeper had no idea who Jesus was or who this couple, Mary and Joseph was, and he was doing his best and he gave his best of what he had left over to Jesus. Maybe that's you this year. Maybe you kind of, that just kind of registers with you and you relate to that, that man, maybe it's been a rough year and people have assumed some things, but you've been giving Jesus your best. And I would just encourage you as you are going around today, man, just who do you really just relate to in the Christmas story, who is it that maybe that character just really speaks to you today? Maybe it's Mary and you're just pondering quietly all that God has done and how good God has been to you. Maybe it's Joseph and you just feel the responsibility and the heavy responsibility of this year. Maybe it's the donkey and you know what I'm talking about. You've just been carrying the load and you've just been driving through without much recognition. But I would really encourage you to go around as a family, talk about who do you relate to out of this Christmas story? Who, who is it that, that really just jumps off the page to you as you are, are reading through this and spending time and, and maybe some really great discussions 
come out of this. And my prayer is this, is that the, the, the Christmas story jumps off the page and it becomes real to you today. That today isn't a day that you just fast forward that's just full of gifts and full of one party after the other party and food and family, but that it is a time that we really focus on the birth of Christ and what it means to you and me. Let's pray today. God, we love you and we thank you for this amazing day that we get to celebrate. This amazing moment of your birth that came, that changed not just our life, but it changed hum humanity forever. And I pray today that we would just take time to focus on your birth, to celebrate your birth and what it means to us, that you came to change everything. You came that our life may be changed and humanity might be changed and this world might be changed. And Lord, that is a reason we have to celebrate and to be joyful. So Lord, as we go throughout our day, I pray that our hearts would treasure all that you are doing and all that you have done. It's in Jesus' wonderful name, I pray, amen. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a Merry Christmas. I hope that you're traveling safe and you have a wonderful rest of your day.